One cutting edge aspect of the ITIS landscape is the emerging industrial revolution of 3D printing technology in the health sector. Gardner's Hype Circle research methodology proves 3D printing landscape as cutting edge. The Hype Circle is made up of expectations and time on a vertical and horizontal axis which plots the life cycle of new technology. On the Hype Circle, 3D printing is at the peak of is at the peak of inflated expectations. 3D printing manufacturing is the process of creating a 3D object from a digital model by placing additive manufacturing by by using additive manufacturing in which an object is made by adding materials layer by layer and fitting it together. 3D printing technology emerged in the technological world in 1986 and became known in 1990, but it was all only known in the engineering, architecture and manufacturing industry. One of the most important areas of the application of 3D printing is in the healthcare sector. Currently, 3D printing is being used for dental fabrication and posterics manufacturing. In addition, researchers are actively exploring the potential of bone production and the replacement of body parts by using 3D printing. According to the US President, President Barack Obama, 3D printing has the potential to revolutionize the way we make almost everything. We have seen the evolution of 3D printing into healthcare with the aid of Snowbogen printers making use of specialized ink and water-based paper prepared from collagen and materials to, to, to print regenerative human scaffolds in bone replacement and also in the field of cancer research. Heltola 2009 in her paper stated that this can be seen on the experiment performed on some rats where this human scalpel was injected into the rat's jaws and within some weeks of this emplacement the rats grew some feet and also in some rabbits they were implanted with the regenerative scalpel in place of hip bones and within weeks of the implantation they were able to grow hip bones and also within some months the rabbits were working from this, we were able to see that humans too would enjoy such, whereby such scaffold would be implanted in them and within some months they will grow back the bones that were fractured. In the field of cancer research, we all know how cancer is. So, printing cancerous cells in a systematic environment and a contained environment, studying them would help in the improvement of medicine and treatment for such cancerous cells. From this, we'll be able to know that 3D printing offers so much value to our life, we will be able to extend it in the future to areas of skin printing and also vital organ replacement. With every new technology, there are always winners and losers. With 3D printing, several industry segments will see significant benefit, but also another industry segment will have a misfortune. Positively impacting those industries like the health insurance company or the government funded service assistant company will save in recurring costs for chronic disease like dialysis with costs of between $55,000 to $75,000 per patient per year or diabetes with costs between $6,000 per patient per year. In addition, insurance company also will be financially benefit with savings in the logistic for transplants cost. And finally, computer-assisted design software like Reno or AutoCAD will benefit from this expanded market because the design for replacing this organ need to be created digitally. In contrast, companies creating dialysis machine, insulin, insulin pumps, pills, pacemaker will be affected with organ printing to replace kidneys, heart, and pancreas. Also, the printing medication printing will be affected uh, traditional pill companies and finally the bones and cartilage printing to affect the traditional prosthetics and implants. Gartner identified 3D printing as one of the 10 strategic technology that will impact the enterprise within the next three years. Healthcare notoriously is lagging behind in IT compared to every other industries. Despite the fact that there is high need for 3D printing in the healthcare industries. A new KPMG survey shows that 65% of healthcare providers see challenges coming to their industry within the next five years. And an increasing number of healthcare providers believe that their current business model is no longer sustainable. 
there's no doubt 3D printing as a disruptive innovation like we have seen in other industries can change complex and expensive healthcare products and services to greater levels of affordability and accessibility. And the cited the advancement is taking place in the healthcare industry which is, has got to do with bio printing. Bio printing has actually got to do with how 3D printing is used to make living structures, that is living using living tissues to make organs. Conclusively, having anticipated the changes that 3D printing is going to cause in their industry, healthcare providers need to come up with strategies that will enable them to adapt with this emerging cutting-edge technology.